Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a used 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a four chamber cup pour. And I got this cup from Tracy Reed Design. And she also has a Facebook group called Acrylic Pouring with Friends. And this cup holds, I believe, six ounces. So let's go over my paints today. My base coat, I'm just going to use the Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic White. And for my, I, my other four colors, I have the Modern Masters Venetian Blue. Very pretty blue color. I have Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. I have Blix Light Blue Violet. And the last color is Master's Touch Light Purple. Like a, almost like a, a, a dulled purple. And my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I did add a squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium no silicone. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off. I'll put my base coat down. I'll fill my cup out up and then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay everybody I'm back. I have my base coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. I'll show you my cup. I have my cup all filled here with all my colors and as you can see I have my edge taped and a few videos from now, when this painting is dry, I will show you the effect that that will give. It's an experiment on my part. So let's just get started with the pour here. Again, I purchased this from Tracy Reed Design on her Etsy shop. She has a YouTube uh, channel. She's used her cup a cup uh, several times now, I believe, with really good results. Okay, getting towards the end here. And I will list Tracy's information in the description if I haven't mentioned that already. Okay. One little bit of information here is if you don't like your end your little circle at the end, you can take your skewer and just fix it to the way you like it. And I think I will give this a torch. I just did mix these paints up, so probably quite a few air bubbles in them. Okay. And now I will start tipping. I think I'll just start by going side to side here. Bringing it back. And at this point, it looks like a lot of the, that lighter purple color is taking over. So I may have to tip off quite a bit of that. We'll just see how it turns out here. And 
And with your edges taped like I have them, I don't have to go all the way to the corner, just to the edge of that tape, because that will be removed once the painting is dry. Probably in about two, three days, I'll take that tape off. Okay, I'm going to bring it back into the middle. And then I will bring it down to this corner. And I will have to tip some off because I do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas. And I will bring it to this corner. And I will dump some of that paint off. And I'm going to bring it down. Just what I figured, some of that dioxazine purple is hiding underneath there. And I want to bring that up if I can. So I will take some of the paint off this corner here. And I'll bring that back. And I'm going to take some paint off this corner and bring that back. And bring this down more towards the middle. And I will take some off this corner. I do love that blue. And I'm just moving the paint around here. I think I could take some of that blue off this edge down here too. And bring it back. And I'm going to take more paint off down at this corner here. And now I'm going to move it back into the into the middle more. Does not have to be exactly in the middle. And I'm going to take more off down at this far corner here. And I'm bringing that back. And more on the, I'm going to take more off that corner also. Okay, and now I'll bring it back to the middle. Just playing with the composition of it now. Just taking a look at it. I do like what purple I got here. 
and some of the purple did come through there, the dioxazine purple. I think what I'm gonna do is pull off some paint down in this, this way. Okay, and now I'll pull it back more towards the middle. And down a little bit. And I may take more paint off down at this, right down at that end there. Okay. And just bring it down just a bit. Okay, now I'm just going to take a look at the composition here. And I think I'm going to take a little bit off in this area here. The paint is starting to move slower. Just trying to guide the paint where I want it to go. Okay, that's good. And now I will bring it back a little bit. going to take a look at it and I think I'll clean the, my edges off in the bottom while taking a look at it. A couple of areas I really really like And I think I might just layer another little cup and maybe try and do something with this area here or this area here. I'm not sure yet, but what I'm going to do is I have some paint left, so I'm going to put some Daxazine Purple in first. And then some of the lighter blue. And then some of the, the darker blue. And maybe even a little bit of my white. I'll put a little white in there. Okay. And I think I will put some down in this corner and see what we get here. I'm just wanting a little more of that dioxazine purple to show up on this painting. You can always play with your painting and 
until you're happy with it. I'll put some in this corner. Okay. Well, let's give that a little bit of a tip here and there. Just incorporating it into the painting here. that over the edge a little bit and then bring it down and I will work with this right now see what I can do here Okay, that's good. That's real good. Let's do a little more tipping here. And you can fast forward if this tip it, tipping is just really boring. <laughs> I just want to get my composition exactly the way I want it. And I'm really glad that I did add that additional couple of cups of paint, of paint there. We'll stretch it out a little more. And I'm going to stretch it off this way. a little of that paint off. Okay, that is looking a lot better to me. Okay, really liking that and I'm going to clean the bottom off. And I will give it a torch. See if we get anything up. Yes, I'm really, really liking this now. A lot for the eye to look at. Okay, and I think composition-wise, it would go this way. And I hope you are seeing that. And I will get you down for a close-up. Just cleaning off the bottom here a little bit. Checking the corners. 
but I really don't have to worry about the corners because I have everything taped. And like I said, in about two or three videos from now, I will bring you back and show you what effect that taping around the edges gives. So I'll get you down for a close-up. Here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner, that cup that I added. Very pretty in there. And we're going to go down the left-hand side. We're coming upon one of the areas I really like, and that is the lower left-hand corner. I really like all the effects in here with the purple and the white. We'll go up the middle here. And we'll go over to the upper right corner. Very pretty in here. And now we're coming down where I added the second cup there. I really like it in here. Very crisp looking. And then this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a th thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help my channel grow. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.